Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you wouldn't miss any of my future videos. So for today, we're going to talk about how you can create your own YouTube watermark branding that you can put in every single one of your videos for the entire time with that little subscribe button for the increased number of subscribers. So I hope it's going to be effective for you and for me. So if you want to check it out, Let's get started. Right. Okay, right now I'm here in my YouTube channel and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the YouTube studio. Just click on your thumbnail there and then click YouTube studio. Left hand side, we can see here the settings. Click on that one and go to channel and then branding. So this is what we're going to do today. Um, video watermark this um, little square right here. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just first going to remove mine. And in here, there's um, a guideline provided by YouTube, which is um, they accept PNG or GIF format. And it has to be 150 by 150 pixels and no more than 100 megabytes so they suggest that the image um, should have or you, you know you can have one or two colors and a transparent background which which what works best so i'm gonna go ahead and just cancel this first and we're gonna go back here um, later on but first i'm gonna show you how i did um the video watermark so i just um, created mine here in Canva. This is where I created my thumbnails as well for all of my videos. This is a free platform. You just basically have to create an account and you'll have access to their different um, templates, designs. So in order to do that, um, we can click on create a design and then just click on custom dimension you can also use the logo um, because the logo is 150 by 150 pixels which is you know basically the same as the video watermark for youtube but just for the sake of showing this i already have input 150 by 150 pixel let's just lock this up and then create a design so one thing that you can do is to sort of like um, blend it in with the YouTube, you know, like create a red background here with a kind of like a subscribe button because um, actually that video watermark has a um, call to action that when um, people click on it, it actually gives them the ability to subscribe on your channel. So we want to take advantage on that one as well. So yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to background here and I'm going to select just a bright red um, color right here like you can see. All right. And then the next one is I'm going to go to elements and um, actually I can just like, you know, drag this up and sort of do this. This is kind of like a very quick way um, to do that. You can make the back this background white um, depending on your preference i can make this a little bit um, smaller because i kind of want to have a text here that says um, subscribe for call to action so i'm gonna go to text and maybe i'll just add a heading right here and i'm gonna put i want it to be all caps subscribe uh, so yeah, this alone can, you know, be it already, or we can make this uh, whatever you like. I probably would make this white and change the background to black. Yeah, so this one, I'm going to download this one and I'm going to go for PNG and click on download. So that's basically it. Okay, now let's try uploading uh, the video watermark that we just created. So I'm just going to click on image here and then select this subscribe uh, watermark that we created. So it's going to look like this. And um, for me, I, I normally have that subscribe animation. So 
like normally I would suggest to put it in entire video so your viewers can see it and actually click on it whichever timeline they are in your video um, from beginning to end but for me since I have the animation of subscribe I kind of want to click on the custom start time and maybe like put it to like four to five seconds before it actually appear so I'm gonna save that and it will be um, applied to all of your videos in your YouTube channel. So let's try and see that. Um, let me go to one of my videos here. And let me just fast forward it so we can see. So as you can see, this is the thing that we created. It's very small, so... Um, but it's very visible so we want to kind of use minimal element in there um, if you hover over it you are gonna see this um, subscribe call to action button I obviously cannot click on this because this is my channel but this is basically what your viewers can see um, when they uh, hover or click on this watermark video watermark here so that is our first option. Um, the second option, which is actually my preferred option, going back here in Canva, I already created one um, for my channel. So I want to use, instead of the more YouTube-like thing, I want to customize it, customize it to fit or to be consistent on my actual channel branding, since we're talking about branding here. So as you can see here, I made it to a point to show um, what my channel name is. So I'm just gonna put Lloyd and etc. here. I'm just kind of resizing it the way I want it to. And like that. I also use like a bright orange background because uh, I don't know if you can tell in the intro of my videos, like the main colors I use there are orange and red. I don't want to use red here because like I've said I kind of want it to stand out and kind of sway away from the YouTube colors um, so I opt for bright orange and as you can see later on this will pop up more in any um, background or surface um, that you use in your YouTube video so I am kind of going for that vibe so since this is also a call to action I want to emphasize this subscribe text here. I probably uh, make it or like not like that. It's too much, but I'll just resize it a bit. Yeah, maybe something like this and actually I'll try to change the text do something more um, visible maybe like this let me because this um, square box as you can see from the previous one is very very small so I want the viewers to be able to see this even you know in that very small space in there then i'll just turn it to black um let me just kind of center everything so yeah this is just very simple um i'll just probably adjust it to like this something like this let me try to change it to white and see uh, okay i'll just change it back to black but the point is you can basically you know customize your own and do whatever you want but just a suggestion and a tip you want to make sure that it has like minimum color in it one to two colors um, i'm using four but basically the main colors here is the orange and 
probably the black but it is bright orange and very visible to you know naked eye even when they are viewing it in a smaller screen let me just download it and choose it here done all right and let's try it again going back and change this to the new one which is this one perfect so this is it and then i'll just save it also starting at 45 and upon doing that let's try and see it on the actual video all right so now here it is and if I hover to it, you can see the call to action subscribe button right there. Reminder you guys, this button here is only going to be visible when the viewers are viewing your videos on um, desktop. And if, in, if they're viewing it in mobile phones, they cannot see it if they're holding their phones on portrait mode. But if they tilt it and do the landscape mo mode, this is gonna be visible as well so i think that's one thing that um a limitation of this on the side of, of youtube but basically it's still very helpful to potentially grow your subscribers so this basically it guys i hope you learned something new today and i'll see you guys next time thank you so much for watching bye